So, where do you You next? are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. Explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping. Take it all so seriously. Maybe it's not too late to catch a ride back home. We're pulling rocks <laughs> out of the ground, not building yeah, spaceships. Right. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless, maybe you could help me out with a job, off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. Yeah. Don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore, so we work with what we've got. Something to do with insurance, benefits and uh, other liabilities, so I don't make the rules. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me.
to explore. People always ask me what I think about mining. It rocks. Sure hope this hearing will. A friend offered me a nice cushy office job. I'm making double out here in the Sidonia mines. Jokes on them. <laughs> any trouble more. I hope you've got your own cutter. I don't have any to lend out. I appreciate you helping me out with all this, by the way. don't belong here. Hello, stranger. I am no. What can I do for you? I was activated 17 years ago. I malfunctioned and have been in disrepair and unable to move for over nine years. Repairs are too costly and I am well past my warranty expiration. Now, my primary function is that of an automated personal assistant. It was chosen over deactivation. I can make general announcements and relay messages from one registered miner to another and I can report about local news. All news and information has been supplied by employees of Deimos' mining operations. I also have been programmed with a limited selection of jokes, but I have been told to warn you, they are not good. Don't forget, 
This month's target goals have been increased by 5%. Failure to meet your new goal may result in termination of your current contract. Good thing you do not work here. Sorry, you must be an employee of Dango Star Yards to access the messaging function. And you are not. No doom with this quake. A helpful reminder that subterranean particle fracking has resumed after its recent hiatus. Residents and workers alike are encouraged to heed the warning announcements and brace themselves for any turbulence when the blasts go off. Thankfully, you can rest easy knowing that detonations no longer occur at all hours of the night. Feel free to toss your alarm clocks, however, because they resume bright and early every morning. Why did the snowman need a moist toilet? Because his arms were... sticky. Goodbye. Want to hear the song I just made up? I'm a bunny, you're a bunny, he's a bunny. Ha! Oh. I'm so blind. These are supposed to be luxurious condominiums. Ha! <laughs> if you ask me, I find them to be rather. Growing up in Sidonia, you gotta be tough.
along. I believe this is where the city's governor lives. I don't think we've been invited here, so perhaps we should leave. You're a member of the UC Vanguard. They're so lucky to have you.
Okay, that all you mind is really gonna bolster our numbers. Eh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimo Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me. But I give everyone a lot of leeway, as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Hmm. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult-to-gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous, if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, come on, mate. It's perfectly safe. We're miles away, so all we get is a little jiggle now and again. Just make sure to hold the railing when going downstairs and you'll be fine. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our Director of Mining Operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. Ah, got that industrial court know-how, do you? Then, you know how this is all gonna go down. Go to the Deimos office in orbit, apply for the job, answer some questions about kissing the boss's ass. It's mostly BS, but it's gotta be done. Doesn't matter what you say, as long as you don't say anything too bonkers. We'll talk about how to secure the job after you get that application squared away. You're jumping through a lot of hoops to get those miners the equipment that they need.
You're ready to launch.
I am in the mood for a mocha macchiato. private buyers. Please dock to see our sales representative. So we should watch our step. Greetings, Captain. When humanity finally left the cradle of Earth behind, the United Colonies... Uh, I wish Deimos was exclusively a military contractor. Deimos ships are responsible for countless victories. They're a true piece of history. Deimos builds some of the... toughest ships in the settled systems. That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day. Welcome to Deimos. Ah, it's nice to see someone not in uniform. They can be so touchy, you know. <laughs> Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high-ranking general, are you? Oh, I was. 
Most of us at Deimos served in the UC Navy in one capacity or another. I mustered out as a chief warrant officer. <laughs> Pretty good for a non-com, eh? But there is a lot of top brass around here, so you have to always be at your best. What a relief. I assume you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. Mr. Henderson handles sales, but if you want to know anything about our ships, I'm your gal. If you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. The Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority, twice the market rate. As a first-time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every Star Yard offers the same terms. But obviously, you should deal with us. Depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. So what we need is... Nickel. The request is for a large quantity. 5,000 units of it. Excellent. This invoice has the details. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It can be pretty hard working with these no-nonsense military types. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say things like that, at least not so loudly. I've already been written up twice this week. I can only take so many lectures. Ugh, <sighs> man, I could really use a drink. Yeah, but who thinks to themselves, man, I could really use a nice glass of water after a hard day. <laughs> what I could really use is Jake's Stout, from Jake's Bar in New Atlantis, of course. Or the well, to be more specific. Oh, I used to love that place when I lived there. I mean, Jake isn't friendly, but he could make a pretty good drink. Say, you're the traveling type, right? Would you mind grabbing me one of Jake's stouts? Awesome! Thank you so much! I eagerly await your return. I mean, they're very good, obviously. But these days, everyone's using the same core tech, right? Oh, shit. Do you know you can be lectured on being too honest? <laughs> right, right. Um... What makes Demo special, though, is the package. We've been building ships forever, and the way we put it all together, well, it's, it's really good. In a, I'm gonna murder my enemies sort of way. Hmm? Huh? The UC Navy. I repaired just about every class of vessel there is. I even repaired Henderson's longsword once or twice. I swear that man has a guardian angel with him full time. <laughs> or three. Deimos hired me because I know every rivet and microchip on these ships. So if Henderson gets stumped on something, it's showtime. Oh, yeah. Bye. I suppose I have time for a nap before we leave. Hmm? If you have any orders, I'm ready to receive them. Barking orders, food orders, all orders. Just let me get my sleep.
worry. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoo in I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. Believe me, if you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, she's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good point, though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look. See yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. I know it might feel shady, but think of it more like uncorking an unnecessary bottleneck. It's gonna help us all. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. I'm surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Navy. If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Lots of business. You seem a little distracted recently. At least I've got more than enough work to complete before I can go home. <laughs> go me. It's the divorce. Tia. I told you about that in private. Honey, everyone knows all of it. It's true. We know. You haven't exactly been very good at hiding it. Well, yeah, but... Oh, fine. I guess not. It's been hard, but I'm getting through it. I'll be okay.
Do you work mining must be a fun job, or else why would we keep getting so many applicants? Traction on getting the board to agree to opening up the HR headcount for me? Sorry. Don't be stupid! You're under arrest! No sudden moves! Good. We don't need any more trouble today. I have a criminal record. Thanks. Things have been pretty quiet around here lately. Usually means someone's up to something. We just haven't found out what yet. Used to think I was famous. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security-related concern, bring it up to me. As much as someone's last name is a nickname, Friends, acquaintances, and other locals call me Booth. You can call me Sergeant Booth. Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real, though, I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working or if it's because of the military presence, but crime's pretty low. We get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. We're not Neon. Well, it ain't drugs if that's what you're worried about. You'll notice it happens to miners and anyone else that's been down in the red Martian dust too long. Nothing to worry about any more than anyone else around here. Used to be a sign someone was ready for the Red Devils. But some of the ex-Red Devils still think they're a big deal. They ain't as badass as they think they are. And any that do have a chip on their shoulder and cause trouble, well, I'll put them in their place. Stay out of trouble. Welcome to Sidonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. It's small, it's dusty, it's old, but it's home. It may not be anything fancy, but I couldn't dream of living anywhere else. Still do, technically. I'm a naval commander. But they've got me here pushing pencils ever since the Red Devils disbanded. I pull double duty, aiding in recruitment and serving as the Sidonia Security Chief, representing the UC. If you ask me, though, Nothing's been the same since the Red Devil's glory days. All the goddamn time. <laughs> it's been about 20 years, but every time a new recruit crosses my desk, I size them up and wonder if they have what it takes to be a Red Devil. I'd give my left thumb to recruit fresh devils again. 
But it'd take nothing short of a miracle to convince the top brass to reinstate the program. Only the finest bunch of soldiers to ever grace the UC with their service. Of course, I may be biased as a Red Devil myself and head of the program. Well, former, I should say. Program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony wars. It put a stop to any and all Xeno warfare. I fought to keep them operational here, but the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for a separate elite soldier program. Bye for now. Bunch of heat leeches, saying uh, breeding in the utility section the other day. Not gonna be able to get that image out of my head for a while. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. They won't. I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm not saying anyone's bad at their job, just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. Not really, and neither should you. Either those applications were old and those people have moved on, or as soon as you disappear after this, they'll get to hiring again. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request and we'll be right on with it. Then we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. The United Colonies Department of Labor would like to remind you that working too much overtime is harmful for your health. And any injuries or mistakes you incur while suffering the effects of overwork or exhaustion can also harm your company's bottom line. The miners pretty much run the lower levels. Mm, sometimes I feel like these mines just run themselves. <laughs> I like to think that's thanks to me. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Good. Now, let's me... You look a bit different than I remembered. Did you go to Enhance? No. Now I remember. They told me they sent me someone new. Anyway, when they told me how poorly you did on your application questions, I had my doubts. But at least you showed up on time, so maybe there's hope. Well enough, Chit Chat. Let's get to work. Excellent. Some initiative. I love it. That's something my previous assistant lacked. A shipment I ordered has yet to arrive, and I don't know why. Last time this happened, my assistant needed to speak to Governor Hurst. <laughs> I don't know what he has to do with it, but go figure it out and get my shipment for me. I don't know. At first I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time and they all just stopped showing up. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. Oh, do they cover nothing in orientation anymore? No, strike that. We got rid of orientation, didn't we? 
Anyway, it's not important. Your job is easy. You do what I ask, and that's pretty much it. I'm surprised you've forgotten that steer. All right, uh, new assistant. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I could, but we'd be wasting valuable time, so no. What's in the shipment? A good assistant knows it's not their place to ask. Bad assistants get fired. Mediocre assistants get... You know what? I forgot where I was going with this, but it doesn't matter. Just get it for me, will you? Also, I don't quite remember. But it is important, that I know. Caution. Oh! Subterranean You're article done? Be advised to secure loose articles and find stable ground or remain seated in the event of unforeseen travel. There's nothing that can occur in five, four, three. You simply two, won't find a one. politician who works harder for his people than I do. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but. Be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? heard of you. Of course, how could I not? Interesting. It appears Governor Hurst is well aware of our exploits. If by exploits, you mean what your friend is doing for Sidonia, and not your work for Constellation, Miss Morgan, you're right on the money. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Word travels fast around Sidonia. It's my business to know these things. Frankly, I'm not worried about you. As long as you play your cards right, it'll stay that way. Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Oh, it's a, a few reasons. I don't want this mired in their process. Also, it's a bit of an embarrassment for a sitting governor to lose a ship. So I'd rather that not get out. I'm sure you understand. Well, this is a tricky situation indeed. Not to get bogged down in details, but assuming this is the work of pirates, it's best to destroy the ship and everybody on board. Makes it cleaner for insurance purposes. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Particle detonation concluded. It is now safe to resume normal activity. 